as you can see, I'm barefaced and all. I am making a video for you guys, and I haven't done this in a while where I've just came on and just talked and rambled. But um, I did have a viewer, I don't know if they're a subscriber or not, but they did mention that I should do a video like featuring products from like the makeup basket of the week. So I'm like, okay, why not? I haven't did a tutorial or anything similar to that in a while. So I thought I would go ahead and do it. This lighting is kind of crazy. So I do apologize and ignore the nails because I can't find the cotton balls. And it's just, girl. So I'm going to start with putting the Prep and Prime Skin Base Massage all over my face, you guys. I just put it on all over. And I just blend it all in. Blend it all in. And I get these samples whenever I place a MAC order. And guys, um, I think I got some of them from Nordstrom as well. But yeah, whenever I buy MAC, I, you know, I end up putting them in my cart. So, skin base massage, guys. So that's that. Then I'm going to put my Milani 2-on-1 foundation on, you guys. I have been wearing this foundation since February or March of last year. So, I kind of like it. So, yeah, it's been my go-to because... You guys know, if you've been following me, I don't buy that many foundations. I have, like, I have two items that are really considered foundation. I have this, and I have my MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. That's considered foundation. And then I have, um, what do you call it, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. So, yeah. And this is just random. I'm really sitting around the house doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Many of you may have known that um, there's been some recent changes in my life. So, and I need a, a beauty blender, a bigger one. I have a small one, and I have an eBay haul that is going to be coming up, you guys. I purchased a few things from eBay. I'm up here looking in the viewfinder to put my foundation on. I really like this foundation. You gotta work really fast because it dries. It kind of reminds me of Matchmaster as far as, you know, when you put it on, it like, it's hard to like stipple. So, yeah. A lot of people say I should do makeup, but um, I think that's a lot that I really need to learn about makeup before I even think about you know, doing someone else's face. That's just me. I feel like I need to do a better wing liner. And to be honest with you guys, this might sound crazy, but I'd rather have someone doing my makeup profession. I'd rather have the success and have people coming over to beat my face. Not me beating someone else's face. That's just my opinion, you guys. I love makeup. I love purchasing it and hauling it. Makeup is fun, you know. It's, it's really fun. That's not... You know, that's not on me, okay? I am not my makeup or my hair, y'all. You see, I got my natural hair out today, y'all. It's so frizzy. That's why I just twisted it up like that. Because, um, yeah, I have really fine hair. And it just does, it just stays frizzy. It just is what it is. <laughs> so, I'm going to be using... The Kathleen Lights palette. That is in the makeup basket of the week. I'm just making sure I blend all of that foundation in. I need my brows done. I haven't been able to go get my brows done. I think my brows have not been done probably since. I don't know. Let me twist this around because it looks a hot mess. I think it hasn't been since maybe shoot September, October. I don't know. October. I'm gonna say October. I don't remember going in November, though. See, I didn't even get all my hair. Y'all, y'all have to excuse me. <laughs> Let's do a couple plaits. Look, I know, I'm so corny. So corny, but I want this out of my way. And I might have to put it in a ponytail to do that. Because it's irritating me. But, um... 
Now, I haven't been to the nail place to get my brows done. And the last time I actually went, um, they were kind of rude. I'm just going to put it like that. They were kind of rude, and I never experienced that from that particular place. But, you know, it's one lady that I love to do my brows. And um, I think she then got full of herself, okay? Because, you know, you know how you go. There's different tiers as far as, you know, because I guess <laughs> she's too big to do my brows now. Uh, whatever. I don't know. But, you know, they act kind of, eh. So I'm like, okay, well, this is my last time coming to this location. I'll just go to the one that's um, local. And this is warm honey. I really don't like warm honey because I feel like it may be too light for me. That's what I think. And um, I need my brows done, so I, I just line my brows. I'm not really good at drawing them on, so I just kind of line them like that to give them some type of definition. I've already, you know, I can still go over them with the spoolie, but I just do that, and we'll just <laughs> make it look like they're done. I don't have to put all that stuff all over my face. Because I feel like this concealer is already ashy. So I'm not going to do no highlighting. I don't highlight every day. And I don't feel like it's really necessary. Just conceal your dark spots. And if you have any. And I think that's good enough. It's not like I'm going to a, 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 a club or a convention. Or some type of party. Okay. And I enjoyed this brush here. It's the Morphe 512. And this is what I've been using to blend it under my eye and I blend it above too. Guys, see how light that concealer is? And again, that's warm honey. I normally buy fawn. I think I'm gonna buy, you know, I'm tempted to buy some of those concealer palettes. I am, but I'm like, really girl, when are you gonna be using all that stuff? <laughs> so I, then I think to myself, maybe I should just go get me the NW45 concealer. You know, I was thinking about that. Then I also thought about, um, what was I going to say? Trying the Kat Von D concealer. I also thought about um, getting the LA Girl. But I'm like, LA Girl is so cheap. I wonder if it's actually good for your, for your face. Because this area right here is very delicate. So you're putting $2 concealer there. So that makes me kind of think, kind of side eye just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that. But I know it's one of those uh, good concealers that people, you know, talk about all the time. You know, how it conceals and everything. And I, I really like it. It's not bad to me. But I always feel like I need to go high-end with my face products. That's just me. Just going to take a blending brush and just go above that brow and just blend out that concealer because we don't have no brows done. Okay? And, um, yeah, I think I might get my nails done for the holidays. I'm trying to see. You know, I wore nails for so long, you guys. I wore nails from um, probably like 7th grade all the way to like maybe 1st year, 2nd year of college. So, I did. And, um, yeah. And so, I'm just going to... um cover my face with um, this MAC Studio Fix powder. You know, I'm just not going to, I don't worry about all that extra, them extra steps. I just, you know, I'm going to set that concealer. As long as I don't have crazy bags. And sometimes I set this with um, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, but it is not in reach right now. But it will be in the makeup basket of the week. I just want to put that out there. 
And I just put enough to like set it. I'm going to my eyes because we're not trying to be too big. We ain't really going nowhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's that. Okay. Then I got this little spoolie. Where is it at? I'm just going to just brush my brows down. Where is it? I got a lot of brushes, you guys. I don't know what I... Oh, here it is. Let's see. It was right beside my palette. I was using my... I was using the view highlighter. Isn't that corny? Okay. And just brush the hairs down. Yeah. Like that. I think that looks okay. It's gonna... <laughs> it is what it is. So, I'm going to use my... Where is it? Where is it? Please tell me. I didn't drop it on the floor somewhere. <laughs> okay, here it is. I have so much stuff on this desk, y'all. Okay, so I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion Sample. I purchased the Smoky Palette, and so that's how I got this. Did it come in that sample? I'm not sure. It may have came in that palette. I can't remember. But I did go to Nordstrom Rack, and they had the primers and everything on sale. So I have a, a backup this one, I'm going to go ahead and use it all up. Now, I um, I actually lost the top <laughs> somehow, and, and I haven't been able to retrieve it. So, I put the Too Faced Shadow Insurance on here because I used up all that um, primer. And so, I still have like that much left. It doesn't take much to use this primer. Okay. Okay. So right now it's just me and the dog chilling. You guys. You know what? My braces, you know the spaces are definitely closed. Now I know I got um braces and I'll have to do a story time on braces, but pretty much I got my braces again, like in, I think February of last year, you know, because I wasn't wearing my retainer. And some of you may know that your girl went through like a stressful period and she was not wearing her retainer. And so my cheeks started to spread again. But I think, and I got black braces, I think that um, my teeth are pretty much almost, you know, back to normal where I won't have to wear braces. So I think I'm not going to have them the full two, two years. Not two years, but I guess you could say uh, 18 months. Because, yeah, they have really come together. And I go again tomorrow to get them. I'm going to get the wires. Not the wires, but the power chains. Um, I might get silver. And um, I'm going to tighten them up, of course. So I probably don't have that long to keep these braces on just looking at them. So, but we'll see. I mean, because I mean, the space is just one away. And I'm like, yes. Okay. So, I'm, I have the Kathleen Lights palette, you guys. Right here. And here are the colors. I really like the colors that she selected. She did a great job. And then this is her collaboration with Morphe. So, I think I'm going to go with probably the green. That's just... Let's just stay in the holiday spirit. Okay. So, you guys, I really haven't did that much of anything. All I've done for, for Christmas is pretty much is browse the website and kind of put an idea of what I want to get for people for Christmas. I haven't did no shopping for anybody but myself. Y'all, Instagram is crazy. You got to stay off Instagram because it's just way too many, like, Sales. I'm about to take trim mood off notification. I'm about to take my ass off. Cause um <laughs> this is crazy. All this stuff, you know. Mm -mm, honey. No ma'am. <laughs> trim mood will have you wanting to buy everything. 
all those collections that be coming out, it's just crazy. I bought two items from the Mariah Carey collection, and I'm trying my best not to buy anything else. I kind of want that, that highlighting powder, but I'm like, uh, no. You already have Gold Deposit. Gold Deposit is listed as one of the possible dupes on Tim Talia's website. However, I do love the packaging. That's the junkie in me. I love the packaging. It is so cute how they have her face in the highlight. You know, pretty much. I don't know what you call that. Engraved in it. Whatever shit. But I really think it's it's nice. Her collection is very goldy and blinged out. <laughs> I think it's cute. So, I, I don't know. I'm debating. That highlighter is $45.50. And like I said, I have gold deposit. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, is it really worth it? <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm debating on that. If I'm not mistaken, before I made this video, it was showing in stock on the Macy's website. So, if you haven't purchased it, then you have an opportunity to do so. Just saying. <laughs> trying to find my brush. You know you have so many brushes and you don't line them up for a video. They kind of get lost a little bit. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just gonna. I really want that brush though. I really, really do, but I can't find it. That's crazy. Mm. <sighs> what is that brush at? I really like it. I didn't do a video, but um, here it is. I like this brush. You guys, I like the Morphe Brush Club. This brush right here, I kind of like it to go in my crease because it's a big brush and you don't have to do too much blending. So, I'm going to use this. I use this shade right here as the highlight. I'm going to use this brown right here to do, like, transition color. Sometimes I only use one color on in the tra transition area. I don't always use two. I don't. I try to do the bare minimum. It's only sometimes where I do, like, some extra steps. It just depends on where I'm going. And I really like this shadow here. Really pretty. See? Has like a, a red undertone. I bet it's a dupe for Coco Bear. But I don't know. Because I don't own it. But I've seen enough videos to assume that it's kind of like that reddish brown. You guys, what are y'all thinking about reality TV? Do y'all still love reality TV? Or y'all getting burnt out on it? I watched um, A Housewives yesterday and I was like, okay. Especially the scene with <laughs> Phaedra and Candy and Candy and Portia. It's like, okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'm getting tired of scripted shows that are not saying they're scripted. But I'm loving scripted shows. I can definitely tell you that. Definitely loving scripted shows. As far as shows pretending not to be scripted, I don't know. I do like to watch because I like to see how their hair and makeup is done. That's pretty much the only reason why I watch reality TV. But some of these people be thinking that everything that they're seeing on TV is real. I'm like, girl, no. Girl, no. It's not real. The only thing that might be real is people screwing for tracks. <laughs> That might be the only thing that's real. 
about love and hip hop or some of these shows. Not, now that part of it, that's what I think that might be real. But hey, it's not none of my business, right? Okay. <laughs> Well, you know, Beyonce did say it in her song. What is it called? Six Inch. She's professional. She don't have to give it up. <laughs> that was the shade about that. Because every every year we see somebody screwing around with somebody for a track on Love and Hip Hop. We see it. It's kind of sad, though. Kind of sad, but that's nothing new. That's been going on forever. <laughs> it's been going on forever. And I'm just using that, um, this chocolate color right here. That's been going on forever. Nothing new, people. Nothing new. I'm blending it out. Nothing new, folks. Nothing new. And, um, yeah. I just watch for the fashions and the clothes. Like I said. Yeah. But I be thinking some of these people, they be wanting to live up to these people and be these people. I mean, I really don't care. I mean... A lot of those people have all that money and they're just still miserable. You have to think about that type of stuff. I mean, sure, everybody wants to be successful. But I just, whew, I don't want the problems. I want more money, but I don't want the problems. And I'm putting this green. I think this green is so pretty. I was going to use a base, but I don't feel like putting no NYX eyeshadow base on. The stuff creases anyway. <laughs> So, green, honey. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like it when Kathleen collaborates because she always makes colors for everyone to wear. That's my personal opinion. And I'm sticking to it. So, I don't have a Christmas tree up. I thought about it, but I was like, mm, it's, it's not that serious. I mean, we'll get a Christmas tree. Right now, we don't have any kids. I used to put Christmas trees up. But I'm like, well, I put Christmas trees up when I was single. Yeah. I really didn't put, I, don't, I haven't put Christmas trees up since I was... Mary, my mom gave me a little bitty small Christmas tree at one point. I don't even know what happened to it. <laughs> it might be somewhere in storage or something. I don't know. But during Black Friday, you guys, I don't know if you noticed, but they had like a six foot something tree. It was only like $13 on the Target website. $13. And I thought about it, but I'm like, eh. And I have... Christmas decorations like in the closet. I do. So I'm like, mm, it's okay. You know, I'll decorate probably when I get some children. That's what I think. I will. Put up the Christmas tree when that happens because yeah that's what I'll do so I kind of like that I'm not going to put anything on my lower lash line even though some of it kind of transferred just a little bit I don't know my eyes reacting kind of funny sometimes when I um put shadow on the bottom lash line. I don't know what's up with that. I really don't know. 
<laughs> so some of that transferred so let me this green shadow kind of has just a little bit of fallout just a little bit not as much as some of those um i'm just putting powder on under here that'll take it away um some of these people really you know were crit critiquing excuse me um, this palette, I mean, if you use the Morphe eyeshadow, same quality. It's not, I don't think it's a bad palette. You see, I just put this shadow on with no type of, um, eyeshadow base. And it looks good to me. So, anyway, I guess, I, I mean, it's just makeup. <laughs> and it has pigmentation, so, you know. And it's affordable makeup, so, I mean, what can you really say? This whole palette was like $14.99. That's good. It's like one of those palettes that you can take with you anywhere, and it has all the colors that you need, all of them, and it's very thin packaging. So, it, it's, it's cool with me. I guess I don't complain about stuff like that. However, you guys hype up the Anastasia palette, but... I honestly didn't see the hype about that palette. Let's just... I don't know. I, I didn't see the hype about that palette. But, y'all... <laughs> the colors are pretty. But, I think also with my skin tone, because I kind of have a... I don't know. I'm kind of like um, the fancy face. The undertones... I don't really think that those shadows look really good on me. You know, I don't know. That's how she was. You know, some of these shadows on certain skin tone, it can come off kind of muddy. You know what I'm saying? You need, you know, with the reds and the orange shadows and stuff. See, I don't know. Kind of could come off a little muddy. Just a little. And I'm with her on that one because it doesn't really go with my skin tone. And that's why I don't do too many of those looks like that. So. I need to put a little bit more. Oh, and I like to use Urban, Urban, ooh, is this Urban Decay? Perversion, yeah. I like to use it with a liner. This is the best liner ever. I wonder if they have a gel liner because if it's the same formula, I want it. I think it's so black and I like it. Put a little bit more on here. Best liner ever. I'm trying not to do my wing liner so big. Well, it's not exactly a wing liner because I'm not a pro at wing lining. I'm sorry. Come to the wrong channel if you want a good wing liner. <laughs> Wrong channel. I suggest that you go to Miss Bo Vintage because she kills the wing liner. She kills it. So, that's another thing. Did I say that earlier? I can't do no liner. And I always jack up my left eye. Always jack up. I'm right handed. <laughs> and I hate being too close to my eye like that, too. I'd be scared I'm going to poke my eye out. Okay? You're going to poke your eye out. Who likes to watch the movie A Christmas Story around this time? <laughs> It's on on demand if you have Time Warner Cable. And so I did save it so I could watch it. That along with The Wizard of Oz because that's that's classic, right? Classic. I don't care how old you are. You gotta love The Wizard of Oz, right? And even The Wiz. So I wonder if that's gonna come on. 
So that's that. Okay. Um, mascara. Ooh, I didn't see that. Glad it didn't leave nothing. Too cray cray. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for Christmas. I might just be here with the hubby for Christmas. I don't know. I know his mom has to work. So, I don't know. My mom is going to be having a procedure this Friday, so... She's going to be okay. Just a little small procedure. Small outpatient surgery. Yeah. So I know she's not going to be wanting to do too much of anything. So I'm trying to figure that out. Um, trying to figure out my hair appointment because my hair appointment, you know, she want to do my hair around 1 o'clock. But my mom's procedure is like 9. 30 so it looks close and, um, so. but I would mess it up right me and this liner I need um, the to go the travel size mascara this wand is too big. <laughs> this wand is too big, you guys. It's just is. <laughs> I hate to get too close because I'm scared. And you guys, I'm talking to y'all. I hate that face. I ain't getting too close. I need a smaller uh, mascara one. So that's something I'm going to have to look for this weekend. Also, if you guys are on Instagram, I'm sure y'all probably saw the new photos of the, um, what do you call it? Milani Strobe Powders. And then they have like a setting spray, prime setting spray. Then they also have like a primer. And then I couldn't see the other items that was in the picture. So Walgreens is lit. They got <laughs> they got the wet and wild new collection, you guys. It is lit for real. And I'm like, Ugh. too much stuff coming out at one time. I just I just can't. And you know, I be tagging people and they be tagging me and um <laughs> and new posts about new products. I'm like <sighs> <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. No. Because <laughs> I don't really need anything else. I have all my lipstick stacked right up here. And it's just, looking at it, it's like, girl, you got a problem. <laughs> got a problem, girl. You got a problem. Um, yeah. No, ma'am. <laughs> I have too much stuff. I really do. Too much stuff. But the junkie in me was like... But I do need a primer. Another primer. I have this little Urban Decay primer that I got from free, for free. And that's why I haven't bought another one. Because I'm out of the other primer spray. But I'm tempted to get another one. So. I don't know. Um, let's see. What are we going to do about the Jakes? What are we going to do? Let's see, girl. My chair is just making all type of noises. Um, I thought I had a blush up here, but what happened? What happened? Okay, what is this? I'm knocking stuff all on the floor. Um, I don't want to put this blush on. I don't know. I really like to wear... 
I bless you, you guys. Let me see if I can find it. Probably knocked it down somewhere. Um, <laughs> don't look at the hair. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is what I was looking for. And I thought I put it up here. I have to go with the Flame Palette by Sleek Cosmetics. I think I'm going to go for like the shimmery blush right here on the end, which is furnace. Of course. Oh. Yes. Yes. Not just playing. Oh, this is when I do a green look, I have to do kind of like a red blush. That is me. Ooh, I like this eyeshadow look. I wish I could. I'm going to have to zoom in for you. See how it just warms up the cheeks? You have a red up tone. This is, this is bomb. Mine is kind of, kind of, I don't know. What, what would you call my undertone for my skin? I'm kind of red, kind of. I'm going to call myself an orange. An orange. <laughs> and blend that stuff in. My husband was like, blend it. Yeah, man. <laughs> blend it in, girl. Blend it in. That's what I be saying. Blend it in, girl. Kind of blush just sitting on your face. Um. Now, as far as the lippy, what shall we do? Huh. I think Lumiere is pretty with this, but I'm not going to go. Even though I did a Kathleen White's, you know, eyeshadow look. Come on, like, come on. Don't wash me out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should keep it like that so y'all can. Cause I look, I, I'm, a pr I'm proud of my skin tone. Let's just get it together. <laughs> Let's get this light. I'm, I'm really messing this lighting up. I, I am. Okay, let's figure this out. Because I have some lamps here. Y'all, I'm getting worse. Okay. No. No, ma'am. Um, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. This lighting is really getting jacked up now. I'm not trying to be light-skinned. Okay. Um, <laughs> no shade, no tea. Look, because... I love all my beautiful brown, brown sisters. No, I'm just playing. I'm just stunning and slurring my words. What's going on? Okay, I have zebra. What y'all think about zebra? Hmm. I think I go with zebra. Color pop zebra. Or I have this shade right here, which is not beauty. But let's, let's, let's just do zebra. Why not? Color pop, you guys have been taking all my money since you first came out. Lips dry and crusty, too. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Zebra is bomb. What a green look. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love it. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering, like, okay, you got that going. What where, where's the highlights? Let's do glow up by K pop, color pop. Karuchi. Go with you, girl, because um this is bomb, okay? I love this highlighter. <laughs> I should have bought it back up. Maybe they'll come out with it again. Maybe they will. You know? Maybe they'll bring K-pop back. Color Pop be playing games sometimes. They be playing some games. <laughs> Try another brush. And they came out with their own brushes. I'm just waiting for the foundation line. Because I could do some cream to powder foundation. I think they should do that. And I put that on the, the Instagram page too. Cream to powder. 
or some type of foundation stick. Let's see if this will look good down the bridge. Sometimes I don't really like doing all that dang highlighting on my nose and stuff. I just, I, I like the face to be pretty much matte. It's lighting. Trying to get it right. Sometimes it be showing up jacked up here. But when I load the video, it looks a whole lot better. Um... So, yes, we're going with that. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's on. It's definitely on. Yes. And if anyone wants to know how this dries, it kind of has a little bit of transfer. Kind of like their satin lips. I really like it. I like their, I like metallic lipstick. I know a lot of people don't like it. Take this headband off, girl. And this hair. And put this um roll band on here, you guys. I'm trying to do a low ponytail. And I'm gonna put my wig on. She's gonna put her wig on, y'all. This wig here, I got it from uh, what do you call it? Hair to beauty. Hair to beauty, yeah. They had a sale, you guys. I got this wig probably for like twenty some dollars. I'm like, yeah, I need a wig in between hairstyles because I try to get my hair. I'm trying to get my hair a break because I've, I've been wearing back to back sewings. Okay, so let me spray my face before I put my wig on. Come on, girl, get together. And I need a full size of this all nighter. Let this stuff marinate. <laughs> I love it. You guys, tell me what you think about my face. Looks okay. I kind of made the eyebrows kind of pop because, like I said, <laughs> brows ain't been done by two months. And I noticed my brows start to kind of thin out when I don't take my multivitamins. Y'all tell me what you think. So, let's kind of zoom in just a little bit. What y'all think about the eye look? It's okay, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put the wig on. For my wiggies, y'all always put y'all, um, y'all do it like this. And I don't like these dang clipped either because I don't need my hair coming out. So, yes, girl. She's be to the mother gods. Okay. So see this is what happens when you're looking into the viewfinder and you're right-handed. And I love my um <laughs> I love my parts to be on the right side. In other words, going I'm right-handed right here. I want my parts going this way. I really don't like left-handed parts. I don't. But most of these wig people, I mean, these fact, these companies, excuse me, they like creating wigs that are made for the left-handed people. I don't know. This wig kind of tangles at the bottom just a little bit. But what do y'all think about it? I think it's a little good, you know, temporary fix, you know. Give me a girl. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram baddie vibes, just just a little bit. You know, you gotta you gotta swoop it over like that. Give it to him like that, Lily, like that. No, <laughs> I'm a little corny, y'all, y'all, y'all know. If you've been watching me, you know I'm corny. So you do the deep side part. It is not a middle side part because it has a C, a C shape right there. And then of course you can leave some of your edges out if you want to. If you want to and use some edge control, but yeah, you guys, that's my get ready with me. Um, <laughs> get ready with me. Uh, makeup basket of the week. I hope you guys like this long, lengthy video. Hopefully, some of you guys watch it. I was just doing ramble, 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 but you know, I haven't did my little ramble in a while. So, um, 
Yeah. Okay. I'm trying wig. I'm trying. I don't know how y'all do these wigs. I, I, I don't know. I guess because I like something permanent. I don't like going to bed with no braids and no ponytail. But at least I've been able to get my hair to breathe for like um, two months. So that's really, really good. And I see the growth. And, you know, of course I'm natural, but it's a pain to wash. But, um, yes, look at the wig. I wish I had this much fullness in my real hair. I wear it just like this. This is the perfect length right here. But I think my hair is kind of like this length, or maybe longer. But there's no fullness. But tell me what you guys think of this tutorial. And tell me if you like the weekly makeup basket of the week to be done like this. Um, I didn't show you all the products. Oh. Let me hurry up. Okay, so I have this. This glow up. I have Milani's Matte Beauty. Of course, I have Mac Studio Fix and NW43. This is what it looks like, guys. Okay. Um, I have some moisturizer. I didn't put it on though, but I got this from BeautyCon and it's called Wildflowers. And it is oil free. It was one item I got for free in the bag. Milani's Spiced Almond. That's what I used today. Number 12. Disregard the nails. Gotta look for the cotton balls. Um, I have Icon by BH Cosmetics. I plan to use that. I have Mugshot by ColourPop. I have Zebra, which I used today. I have um, Mad Iconic. You guys. I have Matte Flurry because I love this color. It's so pretty. I suggest that you get it. I have um, ColourPop Ellery, which is like my favorite lip liner. I have London Fog by ColourPop. I have um, Taurus by ColourPop, Kathleen Lights Collabo. I have, what is this? Um, Lumiere, which is another Kathleen Lights Collabo. Urban Decay Primer Potion, you guys. Um, Max um, Skin Based Massage. Skin Based Massage. Okay. Then I have NYX Eyeshadow Base in White. Um, her palette, obviously, which I showed you guys earlier. Then I have the Blush Flame, the Flame Set. And then when I want to do like some maybe blush colors or another color. That doesn't require like a red shadow tone. I don't know if you guys can't see it. I got this, which is pomegranate by Sleek. And I'm going to throw in Gold Deposit. It's not right here, but if you're familiar with Gold Deposit, I'm going to have that in the Makeup Basket of the Week as well. Um, along with Glow Up. So, yeah. That concludes the Makeup Basket of the Week. And, oh, also the concealers. <laughs> Warm Honey and Fawn. I'm trying to hold on to Fawn because... Yeah, fawn is almost gone. But that's it. Urban Decay Slick. <laughs> and the Urban Decay uh, Perversion Liner. We done. <laughs> We're done, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.